November 16th is the World Day of Remembrance for road traffic victims of cases like these. 60 people have already died in crashes in the city of Milwaukee just this year. And as Durante Matthews shows us, their loved ones are now bonded together. It's an event no family wants to remember. This has been um, a long journey. But it's one they'll never forget. I am forever broken and forever changed as a result of this epidemic that is plaguing our city of Milwaukee, which is called reckless driving. Saturday, Milwaukee organizations united at Peak Initiative to shine a light on traffic violence. Nicholas which has claimed more than 60 lives in the city this year, according to police data. We want people to support families that have been impacted. Families like the Dunmores. It's kind of bittersweet, you know, to have so many families that actually feel what we're feeling. They're still processing the loss of 20-year-old Talise. She was a beautiful person. A daughter and sister killed in a hit and run in September by a driver going more than 80 miles per hour. Also intoxicated from drinking three beers and taking five double shots of tequila. Each story told from families unique, but the devastating feelings left behind unanimous. You're not alone. Which is why organizers say it's important to remember together. Eugene. A process that hopefully leads to healing. Jelani. By giving each other strength and courage. I wasn't ready. But today I'm ready. The courage to share their pain. Today he would have been 26 years old. While hoping other families won't have to feel it too. Her We're voice. her voice. Um, she gives us the strength to fight every day. Um, every day. In Milwaukee, Durante Matthews, Fox 6 News.